I've made it to Hershey's Chocolate World. Hey everybody, it's Jordan. That's right, Joy with Jordan. And I am at the airport headed to catch a flight for my birthday. And guess where I'm headed? Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas, Viva Las Vegas. Anyway, so I'm waiting to board my flight and uh, I will take you all with me. Okay, so stay tuned. Boarded my flight. I remember, I remember reading something about um, the aisle seat being the best seat. I usually prefer window, but aisle seat gives you more room. I don't have a preference as long as I'm not sandwiched in between, you know, people I don't know. But yeah, I'm on my flight and paying for safe travels. Welcome to Vegas. I made it to my room. I have the Studio Suite King Bed with Kitchenette. So I'm going to show you my room and then then I'm going to show you, so this is the um, studio suite with kitchenette, king bed, it's um, you know, a petite size. I'm going to go ahead and put my birthday gift, <laughs> my, um, the driver actually bought me that when I told him it was my birthday. <laughs> so. I'm gonna leave it in there. Um, let's check out the bathroom. drum roll let's see this view see this view what is my view <gasps> a pool view awesome I've seen so many people who've had like um, construction views and stuff in Vegas but I actually have a nice view it's a pool view so grateful 
Happy birthday to me. Very nice. And a view of Circus Circus, which I've heard much about. So I'm excited. Very nice. No construction view. All right. It's late. Uh, either way, in the morning, I have to attend a timeshare presentation. And I will let you know um, how that has allowed me to have a significantly low rate on this room. So stay tuned. I'm going to hit the hay, get my nice shower, call it a night. So beautiful. Good day. Top of the morning to you. It's March. That's how you talk in March. It's the Ides of March. So um, now I have to go grab something really quick to eat before this real presentation. And because uh, I guess I need to be on time for that. Check in. Make sure they see me. Make sure I sit and listen. Try not to get caught in there all day. Um, I'm rocking my Whitney t-shirt. I love me some Whitney. Always have. My shirt is from my sister. I can't remember if it was a Christmas gift or, or what. Um, my hair is by my sister. So I'm all covered in gifts and love for my birthday weekend. So let's go so I can be on time. that I've got to uh, scan, do a survey, and then I take a tour soon. And then hopefully we'll have some refreshments because I didn't grab my food yet. Jump out of. Oh, geez. <laughs> and then at the top, there's a roller coaster that hangs over. And then there's a top, that, that bar rotates around. So, all of that at the strat? Yep. Yeah. Yep. I survived. So uh, look, but look, they almost got me. It's a little breezy out here, but um, I survived the timeshare presentation <laughs> that everyone talks about um, on their trips where they get the um, low rate stay. But it's another bill. So even if I don't take the trip, I'm still paying HOA for property that I'm not um, it's 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 another residence it's it's like buying another residence for a little less it's like buying another townhome so I didn't stress over it I really had fun talking with my um, rep and the guy that came in to kind of close the deal and we laughed and um, it was good it was nice and I was in there from 10 30 to, to what time is it 12 10 30 to 1 actually and um but my lady she mapped me out she helped me better understand the strip and um how not to waste my time as a pedestrian and how to map out my um rides even though i looked that up she gave me a more realistic and plain picture so i got some help with that yeah i asked the questions i had to ask about the things i want to do too and so uh, i'm about to go get this salad from either pepper mill or egg slut and um, I also learned that the Welcome to Las Vegas sign is not as close as I thought it was to where I'm staying. But if we don't get that done, it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna enjoy Fremont um, Street experience, eat some street food. Um, I'm gonna get my veggie burger from the strip. And so we're about to head out. Let me go get this salad because I really didn't get my breakfast this morning and I munched from their um, snack bar still have some of those snacks stashed away for my flight back but um yeah let's go so on my way to pepper mill to grab a salad of course i'm going to stop um in a few of the places that have been highlighted to me on the way and this is circus circus so um, I was told that it's kind of like skanky in here. There's kind of like some very, uh, I guess, telling things in here. So we'll see. Oh, 
smells like smoke, of course. This is a casino hotel. this line that's forming it's a long line up here oh to check in there's that line so there was a large hispanic population in there here's um probably where i saw those good dollar hot dogs but i didn't come to vegas for hot dogs either not pizza, not hot dogs, and not a salad, but that's just what I want right now. So I'm going to keep walking down this way. And I see Peppermill right here across Resorts World Avenue. Peppermill right there. So that was Peppermill I was just in and I decided I don't really want to sell it from there. I don't want anything from there and I actually want to see if I can get to the Miracle Miles and um, Block 16 and see if I can find a salad from Egg Slut or something like that. So, but it was nice stopping by and there's a wait. Nah. to resort world of course highly recommended um, boutique shops dining and I think this is where I'm gonna finally eat Resort World also has a conference center. Um, it's boutiques, it's mall, it's dining, and it's like banquet rooms, conference center, um, like convention center. Really nice. I ended up just having a chopped salad from Richie Palmer's Mulberry Street Pizzeria. That was lunch. I went back to my room, changed then caught an uber to fremont street
Clinton Street in my hometown, Savannah. Vegas sign. Okay, excitement again because while I was walking Fremont Street, I saw Carson Avenue where I previously looked up a vegan spot that I wanted to try, but it was not in walking distance from where I'm staying, so I'm about to eat. Vegan Las Vegas Vegan, so I got the um, burger with what is this called? Mac Daddy Burger. Mac Daddy Burger with um, a special sauce vegan mac and cheese, collard greens, and coleslaw. Now I was just saying, I get a burger every time I go to a vegan spot, but this is different, different. Then it comes with a side of fries, and I got my water, that's all I drink right now. So. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna try it the way it is. I'm picky about slaw, but I'm gonna take a bite. I usually cut my burgers in half. I think it's got barbecue sauce on it. I didn't take a big bite. But it's different, I like it. It's good for picky me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well let me chop that chop down. Ooh, chow down. I will see y'all in a minute. <clears throat> oh my god, y'all. Yeah. That was good, and I am full. It was good, and I kind of was full when I first started because back home it's three hours ahead and it's three hours behind here. So I'd probably be asleep now or in bed at this time and I feel like that. And so it's like I'm eating late, but I'm really eating early there time because it's like seven here. But it was good. That burger was good. And it's like I got to taste a few different vegan dishes in one. The mac and cheese by itself is usually something you, ch you try vegan by itself and then the burger. So yes, it was good. Do you want to grab anything at the moment? No, um, I'm ready. Yeah. It was really good. I'm, I'm full. You liked it? I was full before I finished, but I was like, oh, I'm not going to take it. <laughs> I mean, it was big, big portions, right? but it was good. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Do you want me to grab any dessert or anything else? Do I have dessert? We do. Um, let me see. God. <laughs> I have a key lime cheesecake, a s'mores, a cobbler, and a brownie sundae. Okay, I just wanted to see, yes, but I think I'm good. No I think worries. I'm good. <laughs> no worries. Is there anything else I can grab? No, I'm good. Yes. Oh, I like your hair, by the way. Thank you. Here's pink in the front, and then she's got like, um, looks like um, makeup freckles, and then she's got her lashes. I like her artsy look. Like I said, it's. I was just walking and found it past Fremont Street and so this burger's like $16 and I feel like it's I don't feel like it's overpriced and so that's another thing that makes me feel good about it I would get a vegan burger back home same price it's not like $20 burger or $25 burger and fries um, and the fries come with it so it made me feel really good and I would come back here again if I visited um, uh, Vegas again and I would try something different on the menu so I'm pleased I think I'm gonna sleep good with the school belly and um, so yeah, Veg Nation, not League Nation, like I was saying, Veg Nation. So I'm back on Fremont Street. It is dark now, so you can see all the lights really good. But I'm about to head in for the night. Cause like I said, it feels later than it is. I've already eaten and I've walked the whole Fremont Strip. Fremont East. Thank you. 
Uber is all right with me. That was actually my first time riding an Uber to and back. Somebody actually lost their balloons. But I am back um, at my hotel and I am calling it a night. Um, but I experienced Fremont today. Um, I'll have to look at my list. Yeah. But um, today was good. Tomorrow's gonna be full and I'm gonna see a lot more of Vegas, so. Day one and done. I just caught the bus, but I got an all day bus pass to come all the way down the strip to MGM Grand today. And I'm just gonna walk and work my way back to the hotel and um, hopefully make it to Bellagio and Mirage and um, Flamingo by night. I may hit them up today before nighttime, so we'll see. But this is where I wanted to make my first stop. So I am still on the boulevard, but all the way down MGM Grand, New York, New York, Hershey store. Um, and I'm gonna work my way back, and I'm near Park MGM. I'm gonna work my way back to my hotel. So that's gonna be an all day walk. But hopefully I'll make it to um, Bellagio and Flamingo by dark. And um, yeah, just explore. I've made it to Hershey's Chocolate World and then Eminem is back down that way as I, I'm looking at it now. As I walk back, I'll go through Eminem. So this is Hershey's Chocolate World. So this is the entrance to the Tropicana. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and of course it opens up to a casino to begin with. The lobby of the Tropicana smells smoky. I'm glad there's no casino where I'm staying. like in the ceiling there's the lounge that's what I want to see so Tropicana wasn't much to see just a casino Tropicana you know a name in Vegas let's keep going I think MGM is next up this way Okay. MGM Grand was not impressive to me if that was in fact MGM Grand and if I saw the bulk of what it was wasn't really <laughs> much and I see there's like shows like Cirque yeah it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> so on to the next one which I think I'm coming up to M&M store What fun it is to work at a store on the strip. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I saw this. Arcadia Earth. It's like get in touch with Mother Nature. I heard about Arcadia and it's like a, a walkthrough? Yeah, so it's an interactive art museum. We have 14 rooms. They're all made out of either 3D recycled material art, mm -hmm. digital panels, or robotics. 
and they're all interactive in different ways and they all have cool. a different theme all about the ocean earth sustainability mm -hmm. okay thank you yeah of course Spongebob and Iron Man. Let's do it, girl. Oh. Okay, thank you. And then there's Black Panther. So I get to the fourth floor and realize I wasn't filming until the entrance, ever since the entrance. So I made it to the fourth floor. This is the fourth floor of four. You see where you can take a picture with the... Um, race car okay, I'll just take you back down with me you can personalize your M&Ms on the third floor I have M&M dishes they even have a theater, a free, um, a free 3D movie theater where you can personalize um, your m and there. Okay, down to the second floor. Like a theater look. <laughs> and down to one. And like I said, it's kind of hot in here. And uh, it smells more like chocolate the higher you get in the store. Chocolate and outdoorsy. And each color has their own feature. Their own wall. All right. Getting in an M store. Okay, so before I cross back over across this bridge, I'm going to go over to Planet Hollywood and then eat something over there at that whole shopping place. So there's a Wild Wing Cafe. Nacho Daddy, hot and juicy crawfish. There's the Ilara. And there's Planet Hollywood. And I'm also to Miracle Mile. Yeah, that was one of my um, stops on my checklist. Planet Hollywood, Miracle Mile. So I am in the Miracle Mile shop. It's actually an indoor mall. They got some eating in here. I'm probably going to eat in here. I just asked the guy, should record it. I just asked the guy, where is the Miracle Mile shop? He is the Asian guy. He said, you in it. <laughs> I was just making sure because I entered near like valet and self-parking. It's kind of dark in here. The ceiling is like clouds, but it's indoor. Definitely indoor. There was some restaurants right where I walked in. And you can enter the Alara from the Miracle Mile shop. Didn't know that. Okay, great. And so as I keep going, oh, look at the ceiling. As I keep going, I can get to the strip from here and I can also get to Planet Hollywood from here. So great. Just find your way, don't stress. Money Madness. She just said it's Money Madness, baby. Oh, and it keeps going, y'all. Woo! It's a bar right in the center. Oh, it's Blue Moon Bar. That's the casino inside Miracle Mile. So, I stopped to eat inside Cafe Hollywood, which is also inside Miracle Mile Shop, and I ordered the sesame ginger salmon which came on this nice um, thick
fish plate and I've still got my smoothie from Jamba because the smoothie's here at $9, mine was only four. And so um, I'm gonna enjoy this, it's good. And then we're gonna head to Planet Hollywood. Little did I know I was already inside Planet Hollywood. Cafe Hollywood is inside Planet Hollywood. My waitress didn't know that either, but she was sweet. So the first thing you see when you come inside Planet Hollywood is Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. The one that you have to make the reservations for months ahead. So there's a line. That's his restaurant. The Gordon Ramsay Burger. So yeah, that was Planet Hollywood. I just went I just came out this entrance of Miracle Mile and I went in earlier down here across from Bellagio. So Miracle Mile and Planet Hollywood share like the same building and it's just casinos and restaurants. Um, theaters, shows with like Chris Angel, Mind Freak. So yeah, that's Planet Hollywood. Okay, nice to see you. <laughs> Hollywood. Okay, so I just left Miracle Mile and that salmon with that cilantro lime rice and greens was good. Um, I am right across from the Bellagio, which is right there. Bellagio is right there. There's a Valentino store. <laughs> he just waved and nodded, I don't know. Anywho. So that's the Bellagio. Side of the Bellagio, this is where the water show happens at night. And we'll see if I'll make it back here on my all day bus pass. But next, across the way is Flamingo, and next door is Caesar's Palace, and then across the street is Bally's. Okay, now, there's Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> and there is Caesar's Palace. 